Hey guys, I thought we would do hair together today. I've washed my hair and I washed it with this Kerastase that I get from my salon and it's the Cement, Cement is how we would say it, but my hairdresser says it the actual way. Cement, anti-use your, I don't know, it's resistance, it's, um, is this one? So this one's the shampoo and this is the conditioner and they're really good. They're the the they're more protein than hydration. And then hold on a second. Condition. And then I put some of this leave in and it's Samant Thermique. And that's supposed to help it protect it from the heat and all that. And then I, as I was looking through my drawer for that, I saw that I had bought some of this before. And it's the um Kerastase Specific Dalsative GL which is a botifying and texturizing root spray. So I put some of that, I like sectioned it out and, and did a spray here and there on my roots. I'm really getting sick of this thin hair. I don't know, I'm probably gonna chop it at some point to about right here. And then that, that, that would do a lot to thicken it up. But I don't, I'm not there yet. I don't wanna be there yet. And then I, now I'm gonna put in some of this Kerastase um, mousse Buffant, K mousse Buffant, and it's some it's some mousse, and I'm just halfing my hair in the back and bringing it forward. I'm gonna try and put equal parts on here, on the ends, and because I already got the roots with that spray. This is a pretty good mousse. It doesn't make it feel gross. I'm a feeling person. I don't I don't like the feel of hairspray or anything like that. So this, once it dries and everything, it's it just feels like normal hair. Only it's a little thicker and it holds a curl a little better. Although my hair holds a curl pretty well anyway. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I told you I don't like thing feel the feel of things so I had to go wash off that mousse off my hands yuck so now we're gonna just dry I don't know I guess I'll speed through this or take the sound down if I can figure out how to do that but um, I have this I I had I have a t3 hair dryer which I love too but I, I had to break down and try this Dyson and I do love how light it is um, it's light, it's fast, it's it's nice. At first, I, I quit using it after a while because I thought it might be drying my hair out too much, but then I just turned the heat down. Instead of all the way hot, I've got it on medium and sometimes low, and that seems to be good enough. So we're gonna dry the, my hair. Oh, and I like this wet brush. Oh, my poor, my poor old hair keeps falling out. It's really depressing. But whatever it is, what it is, it'll be okay. So this is a wet brush. I got it at Target. I like the color. It made me happy, and and it has these little vents. And I like to. I've got the round brush, and I, sometimes I do smooth out my hair with the round brush. But a lot of the time, if I'm just gonna curl it, I'll just want to get it dry, and so I'll just brush it with this thing while I. Well, you'll see. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and dry my hair now. I just go to town, guys. Okay, so after I've done all that rough drying, then I will go in. Okay, and remember, this is my, this was my hand that was affected by the stroke. So it is not, I don't have a lot of finesse with it. But it gets the job done. I have like, I still battle what, I think of as the claw because after my stroke my hand just wanted to do this all the time so I have to really work on it still and it's been I don't know 15 16 years Jeez, I, can't even, I don't dwell on it as much as I once did I used to know exactly how long it was but now I just I move on I've moved on and I did my life and 
My hand is what it is. I mean, I'm lucky that I'm able to do this right here with it. Things and it's broke off, you know, all the things. So a lot of the time that's when I will go ahead and get my round brush just to work on this front front bit. Because even though I'm going to curl it, I want it to be nice and smooth up at the top and not all fly away in every direction. So for this kind of work, I go back to my my more proficient hand. Is that the word? Proficient? Efficient? I'm not sure. The one that works better. And because I don't really like to curl my ends, and I like them to look kind of smooth. So, but that rough dry cuts out a lot of the time that I have to do this, because I really hate doing this. I'm, I've told you about Lazy Kim. I do like to try to find the easy way out on everything, so that I'll have more time to do something that I want to go do. Today I'm going to be playing with my my grand boy. It's my, he calls me Mushka. It's what, it's because that's what Jeff used to call, I don't know why, but he, somehow Jeff got my babies, my twin babies to calling me Mushka. And it was the cutest little thing watching them say Mushka. And so anyway, that's what my oldest boy, who had the first, you know, he and his wife had the first grandbaby, they got to choose the the grandparent names. And so we're Mushka and Papa. So anyway, I don't know what, I, what was that? Why did that come out of my mouth? Jeez. Um, oh yeah, I get to go play with my grand boy today. So Thursday nights are when, when grand boy comes and spends the night with us. And usually we get up and make pancakes in the morning and go to a park or something or just go play outside so that's what I got going on actually he's in there watching a movie right now while I do this because that's what he wanted to do he's watching the frog princess only he calls it shadow man he doesn't care anything about the the girly princess stuff. He cares about the scary villain. He likes the scary villain in it. Which is typical. I didn't I didn't get to watch a whole lot of um, princess movies with my kids because they were all boys. And we watched a lot of boy stuff. Power Rangers and Star Wars Ninja Turtles Okay, so I've gotten most of it dry with, with the brush and everything. And then there's always, I've noticed that my hairdresser does this too. It seems like there's always a little pocket of something somewhere that didn't get dry. So then I just go and focus on the roots. And just make sure it's all dry because I don't want to curl it damp. Because I think that would probably really be bad to steam your hair like that. And I do it, and you know, you can kind of feel that your hair, you've got little cool spots back in there. And I do it until I don't feel any more cool spots. Alright, you guys know how to dry your hair. Goodness gracious. Okay, so then we just throw that down on the floor. We don't throw it, whatever. And then more hair. On my curling iron. Then I bought this um, this T3. I've had this for, I don't know, maybe a year or something. It's a T3. I like T3. They're supposed to not really damage your hair that much. And it's the kind where you can switch out the barrel. And it has, this is the one inch. And then there's a one and a quarter. And I think, I don't know. I've got another one. But I don't remember what it was. Looks like I only have it on the, the the number two setting. There's five high that you can go. Looks like I've got it set to, to two. And if my hair were thicker, I would do it in the sections. And sometimes I will do it in sections. But most of the time, I'm in a hurry. 
So I split it in the back and I bring it forward. Jeez. It's just not as long. I, I mean, I'm, it's, it's long enough, but it's so thin on the ends. I guess it just keeps breaking on the ends, probably because I do all this damage to it all the time. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're gonna deal, deal with what we got right now. Okay, so then I just, I get everything that's here above, in front of my ear, and I just go straight up. I'm not very complicated, really. And then I have little broken pieces up in here that I need to um, combine with the, with the longer pieces. So I have to start my curl pretty, pretty soon to capture all those little pieces. I wish it would get longer so that I could start my curl down here and it'd be more relaxed and pretty. And then I just twist it as I go, which kind of, I don't know condenses the curl a little bit. And then I just leave it be. And I go to my next section and then I go to, I don't know, just a little bit behind my ear and go straight up. I do this, I do about one, two, probably four curls back on each side. And then I'm gonna come back and split the difference. See, I could start a little lower on that one because it's longer. So anyway, I talked to my grand boy and he wants to go see his papa at work. Of course, that's, papa is very popular with his, he has the tractor and the, jeez, I can never, we have one machine and I can never remember the name of it. The bobcat, is that right? Yeah, the bobcat thing. And um, so a lot of time he'll be doing some kind of dirt work or something out at one of our construction sites. And I'll take the, I'll take the grand boy by and I'm not sure if parents want me to say his name or not. So I'll just call him grand boy and try not to slip. Anyway, a lot of time that's what he wants to go do. And now his, now his uncle from college is there too and so he's he's got double the reason to go visit the work site all right so then I usually just you know what I just did and I don't know I think that kind of maybe sets the curl a little bit more and it lengthens it because I'm always trying to preserve my length Guys, it's so weird. When I was, when I turned, I, I remember I turned 49. We went to Baltimore because my youngest twins, they're, um, they had, um, they were, re they're wrestlers. And uh, they went to a Navy SEAL wrestling camp in An Annapolis. It was really quite the campus. It was very impressive. Boy, that was a hard camp. That's actually when I started um, getting into running or really seriously trying to get into running because they had to do this program before they even showed up at the, at the wrestling camp. They had to prepare for it by being, you know, doing some physical things. They had to be able to run four miles and some different things, do so many, I don't know what it was. But anyway, I decided to do, oh goodness. See, see, see all this awfulness? I should leave it alone and not keep curling it so it'll grow, but I hate the way that it that looks, so I just, I curl it. Anyway, so that's when I decided to, I was gonna do this program with them, at least the running program. There were other things too they had to do, I think, like pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups and stuff like that. But I just wanted to do the running with them. And one of my twins is just a little, he's like, he he's a runner. And then one of my twins hates running, like, like I hated running. 
And so I just for moral support and also it was there it was right before their I think right before their senior year or right before their junior year and I was kind of in panic mode that my babies were growing up and I was going to be an empty nester. And so <laughs> I was so clingy. I wanted to do everything with them. And I hated when they would go and do other things and I, they weren't in my physical presence. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, was, it, it threw me for a loop. And Jeff, we <laughs> hated it. You hear all these, all these parents that can't wait for their kids to grow up and leave. And I don't understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for, for their life and to see where their life takes them and all that. But, you know, I was in mourning for the part of life that um, involved us and them. I'm, I'm a lot better now. It turns out that the anticipation of the empty nest was actually much worse than the actual emptiness. So I hope that gives somebody some hope if you're also like me and and went through a grieving process of your children growing up. It turns out okay. And now I've got, you know, and I have some perspective now. I don't know, I'm one of these people that has to go through things themselves to get the full thing that I need to know from it. I don't know. I can't somehow I'm not good at taking other people's word for it, but I hope y'all can take my word for it that that um the anticipation of the empty nest in our case was much worse because I really worried about it. And now I see I really enjoy watching my oldest who is married and has the two kids now. I I've, I've really enjoyed his wife that he's brought into our family. And she's just lovely. Just couldn't be more more perfect for him and for for all of us. She um she's a beautiful, sweet girl and 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 loves us and we're very blessed to have her. So, you know, there's bonus things like that 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 happen when your kids grow up. Uh, let's see, I've got another one. The newlyweds are coming here. Tomorrow sometime. So I've got to get to cleaning at some point after I get done playing with Grand Boy. Um, but so anyway, I started running uh, to spend more time with them and ended up really surprised that I could do it and that I ended up enjoying it. I haven't, I've only gotten to run one time this week though, which I'm I'm kind of down about. Oh, and so did you see what I did here now? Now I just also use this as a wand too. So then, this isn't Kelly Kapoor story hour. It always is Kelly Kapoor story hour for me. So what I did was I took, in between those two, these two that I curled, there was that split in between. So I just grabbed a little on each side and I'm gonna do that here too. And then I curl all that together. So that it kind of covers up that that one spot and it offers a little different curl and this curl gives me a little more root uh, volume because I'm starting it up at the root and I'm really I'm really pulling outward on my curling iron like that way so that my root is pulled out outwards for that curl I don't know. A lot of the time I'll count while I hold it so that I do it the same, but of course I'm running my mouth and so I can't count at the same time. So there's that side done. And then let's see, of course I split it down the middle. So I've got, you know, I've got a big split back here. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. So I'm just gonna grab it and I grab a it's a little bit bigger section there and on this one a lot of time I'll just I'll brush it all the way up like this guys this is probably not going to turn out because anything that I really try to make happen it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work out so then I'm just going like straight down toward the ground with that curl not to the left or to the right 
Oh yeah, the reason I didn't run, it, my nose reminded me. My hay fever is so bad. I woke up this morning with another headache, which oh, I felt bad because I've got to, I don't need to be sick grandma when, when my boy's here. So I got a, I took some Advil this morning and, and some Sudafed. It, it tends to affect me like really bad headache wise um, but anyway who cares I'm feeling better now but the point was I didn't get to run I ran on Monday and then I mowed the yard all day it took all day it's a big yard um, and that really got my allergies going and so <laughs> I was going to get up. I had my alarm set and everything. I was and my I had all my clothes laid out. I've still got them all laid out with my shoes and everything to go running. And um, was not able to get up and go this morning. My head was just pounding. Bless his heart, my sweet husband. He, all I said was Zeke. Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Grand boy made it. Uh, said something about wanting to get up or something or was whining or something and I was like um I'll just just lay back down for a minute I have a headache and so my my husband reached over and started massaging where he knows I've got a headache so sweet he's he's good to me he really is we have a good marriage but we work on it not always perfect you know how it goes but I do try to appreciate all the sweet little things like that. Seems like the things that you appreciate happen more in my experience. He came home and brought me this. He, he brought me this, this, this Yeti one time. He brought home two colors, this sky blue and like a mint green. And he thought I would pick the mint green and he would have the blue. But I picked this one. But it doesn't matter. We, we share them anyway. Um, so then I let that sit for a while. And like I said earlier, I like my ends to be kind of a little bit straight. And so then this also functions as my straightener. So I just get like the last, I don't know, couple of inches. And I just quickly do like that. And then that preserves a little bit more of my length as well. Which, I don't know, I don't have any problem so much with growing length in the back. It's the sides. I cannot get them to cooperate. Alright, so there's that. And then before, oh, so see how I've got this bit of ugliness? You're like, yeah, is that the only place you think is ugly? Anyway. So then I'll just take, I just burnt myself right there a little bit. Jeez. And so then right there, I'll just, my poor hairdresser, she doesn't usually use a curling iron. She just uses the hair, the hair dryer and the round brush. She spends, this is where she spends the majority of her time. Anytime she fixes my hair is trying to get that. I'm like, if you just had a little bit of a curling iron right there, you could be done with it in two seconds. She's awesome. She probably doesn't put that, wouldn't want to put my this heat on here because she knows how fragile it is because she's smart. But I don't even, whatever. I don't respect the, I don't respect the hair and that's why I've got what I've got. No, I try to take care of it. Okay. Um, let's see. And then I've got some hairsprays over here. So let's see. So I have this Kenra Volume Spray 25. That's small. I think I got this from the Small Things blog. She's really good with hair. Look her up sometime. So there's that. Oh, and also I don't, I don't know what to do first. I also like this Dove um, Care Between Washes. This is a nice. I really don't like dry shampoos. This is called Volume Plus Fullness Dry Shampoo. 
it's pretty good for a dry shampoo and it gives me like the body and the fullness so a lot of time I'll just take where I did this and I'll spray a little spritz there and because I like that separation too the separation plus the body and then I'll just boom 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 like that And then to get these, keep this stuff out of my, out of my face. You'll see me do this kind of a lot in, in life. It, it keeps it out of my eyes. I always try to turn my, my diamond around. Um, because hairspray dulls the diamonds, darling. I saw, heard somebody say that one time. Might have been, was it Cindy Crawford? I don't know. She didn't put her jewelry on or something until after she was done with the hairspray. So I try to protect it. My mom gave me this one. I love it. It's beautiful. It's like an, oh, I don't know if she got it from an estate sale or what. And then these two have my boys' names on it. You can't see it. And um, it's just, it's just got their name on it. The ones that are gone out of the country for two years. And I miss them so much. Can't wait. They're coming up on their year mark, though, so this time next year, I will be, they will either be home or we'll be preparing for them to be home, which will be a glorious and blessed day. All right. For a person that doesn't like hairspray, I certainly seem to use it. Yeah. All right, and then after that, a lot of the time I'll go through it with my fingers, brush through it, break up that hairspray. That's a good, it's a good hairspray to that you can kind of comb through, and it kind of still leaves you with some hold and some volume, but not all stiff. And, Yucky. All right, hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay, and then I do this. It's a whole thing. When I was going to high school, there was a guy in my in my class, and we kind of basically had the same hair. And he was um he was a drummer. He was in a he, he was in a band, I think. Anyway, and he he taught me this trick one time. There you are. He taught me, this was back in the 80s, of course. He taught me a trick one time, and I used it every morning before I'd go to school. And it's it's like teasing, only you just do it with your hand. You do this, and then you went like this. And he like scrubbed his the top of his head like that, and then you've got all this volume. I actually haven't done that in a while, but it made me think of him. Hope he's doing okay. Anyway, it was funny because at graduation, my my parents we were we were close in the procession line, and they couldn't tell who was who from behind because we had the same hair, basically. Gosh, I hadn't thought of that in a long time. All right, that's my hair, and this will last me. It's fr it's Friday. It's gonna last me till Sunday morning, it, and maybe and maybe I won't even wash it on Sunday morning if I pulled it back. I could wear it down again tomorrow, and then maybe just go in with a you know with a few a few pieces to refresh a few curls um, in the morning, and then I'm good to go for another day, maybe another two days, maybe until Monday. Yeah, I do like to go back through and just do a, a few that I didn't mess with at all afterwards. I just 
Get a little thin piece. <laughs> this is the money beats. Remember on, on the office? When Dwight said that he puts all of his pretty beats in the in the in the front when he's selling beats. And he calls those his money beats because it makes people pull over the car and say, I have to have those beats. Anyway, these are my money beat curls. You know, sometimes I'll lift up on it until it cools. So anyway, not nothing nothing too hard. Everybody should be able to do this if you if you like this kind of look and if you like things to last for a long time. And I'm I'm a hair player, so I'll be able to mess with it all day and it'd be fine. Alright. Hope y'all have a good day. I'm gonna go play with Grand Boy. Okay, so here we're done with the hair and I didn't show you the back. So here I'm showing you the back. And so while I'm here doing this, I'll go ahead and, I don't know if this will work or not. Okay, so this is my, oh. Hey, I'm back. I, rem I just noticed that I did three more finishing touch things. Well, four if you include the lip liner. Um, I thought I wanted more lip gloss. So I, I got this Huda Beauty. I believe I heard from this uh, from about this from uh, Lisa, Lisa D1 as well. I swear that woman. Stop telling me good things to buy. And this one's called Angelic. And it is, it is pretty. Of course, I put it on and I did my usual blot the heck out of it. And then I put a little bit of this iconic nude around the lip line. And then I took a Q-tip and I rubbed that in. I'm really, I think I'm simple, but I'm very high maintenance. Then I popped on a little bit of Luminoso blush because I looked a little pale. And now I'm about to put on my favorite perfume. Um, and it's... Uh, I don't know how to say it. Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanille Vanille Cocoa. And my husband loves this. He he has a sweet tooth. And he likes me to smell sweet. And it's not overpowering. I'm not a big perfume person really, but I don't know. Anybody that ever hugs me or gets close to me usually says something about how nice that smell is. It's a it's a happy, comforting, warm smell. And I think a Grandma should should smell warm and comforting and happy. So I'm going to go play with my boy now. Bye. For real. Bye for real this time. Have a great weekend. Hey, I'm back. Um, even though I said it was goodbye for real, I did not, I, I was not able to get my outfit of the day, which I'm trying to, do that sometimes. This is a Lucky Brand t-shirt. I got it in a small because they, I think their t-shirts run big. I mean, this is nothing special. Oh, look, I'm in front of that bobcat that I couldn't ever think of the name of it. So we're out here at the construction site and Grand Boy is playing on a pile of rocks. And he's doing good. Um, and then, okay, also I have these high-rise jeggings. These are American, American Eagle. I don't know, goodness, can you see? They're, they're really good and comfortable and affordable. And, and like these ones, I went down a size and then I don't have to wear a belt because I don't like when my, my waist, when they fall down my waist and I feel like I have to like hitch them up all the time. So I went down a size in these and they still accommodated all my curves, but they, you know, since they're high, and I think you can do that because they're high, high waisted, it gives you a little bit more grace. I don't know. It, it helps you out in that department and it, so it, it, they're good. They're a good pair of jeans. You should try them. Um, okay. I'm going to go to the park now. Bye. For goodness sake, I forgot my favorite part of my outfit, which is my boots. And these are a pair that I got in Florida that you just slip into them 
and they're my favorite ones. They're called, they're Liberty Black is the name of them. I saw them in this little store in Florida. The same store that, shut up, <laughs> is the same store that I, I asked that girl about her eyeliner and found out it was Mac Teddy, and so I use that, use that all the time I've got on today. Um, so anyway, I love these Liberty Black boots. They're awesome. So if you can procure a pair, I think maybe you would like them too. All right, for real, bye. Hey guys, I just got a haul from the, we have a local store that has Amazon returns and I wanted to show you this. I got this for my daughter-in-law because she loves dressing up for Halloween. I do too, but it'll be actually really pretty on her. So isn't that cool? And I bought this thing and it's like, it's got these things that, that tie it on instead of, it's like the masquerade thing like that's on a stick usually. I guess she, she's so smart, she could probably figure out how to put it on a stick and just hold it up like that. But it's like really cool. It's got like a little peacock there in the middle. And it's all not broken and perfect and it was $5. So I think she'll like it. So I wanted to show it to you before I give it to her. And I'm leaned over here like this because grand boy's in the back watching Adventure Time. And let's see, what else did I get? I got him a little thing that you build up and then you you put a marble in it and it makes its way down. It's really cool. And then look at, you know, you know how I've got those birds that get on my porch and poop all over it. I got another owl to sit around, maybe to scare them. So that's my haul. I bet that's the weirdest, most random haul you've seen in a while. All right. See you later.